The following trailer is rated H for honest. In an age when online gaming is dominated by first-person shooters, witness the dawn of the third-person dueler as we finally answer the question, which historical murderer murders the best for honor? Enter a land of endless battle where knights, vikings, and samurai are plucked out of their timelines and thrown into a tiny fictional landmass to fight for our amusement as you seek to become the ultimate warrior until in a 12 year old's hand to your ass that you're finally convinced it ain't you. Get your feet wet in For Honor Story Mode, a glorified tutorial wrapped in a melodramatic story where a conflicted knight, a serious samurai, and a very screamy viking slaughter their way through hordes of painfully easy enemies all because one angry night lady has a real hard on for war and get introduced to the game's mechanics and classes through nameless characters whose faces you never see and are impossible to care about in a plotline so vague and half-assed you'll wonder why they even bothered at all that one part where it turns into road rash is kind of fun though Ditch the bots and head online, where you'll uncover the real For Honor experience. The most epic game of rock, paper, scissors you've ever played. As you circle your opponents and spin your guard around like a lunatic, then carefully parry their attacks with godlike reflexes and reaction times. Or if you're a normal person, just spam buttons and directions until you get lucky or die. Then realize that the best strategy in For Honor is to have as little honor as possible. As you hit people while they're down, toss them off ledges, blast them with bombs, arrows, and traps, and just gang up on them and stab them in the back. What, you expected a fair fight? I'm a Viking dog, this is how we do. Select your faction and the ongoing conflict for territory and points. Then discover that it doesn't matter anyway since you can play any character on any faction. Then plunge into the game's handful of online modes like 1v1 duels, which are basically the world's slowest 3D fighting game. 2v2, a level where you get stabbed in the back, a lot. 4v4, where your teammates will immediately fail you. And Domination, a 4v4 match where you occasionally play Dynasty Warriors in between fights. Then get ready to play these modes forever, because that's pretty much all there is to the game. Unless you're a big fan of microtransactions or something. Ooh, best value. So grab some friends, grab a weapon, and get ready to crusade for glory, justice, and internet bragging rights. Or don't, because at the end of the day, you've already fallen into Ubisoft's master plan, finally getting you to sign up for Uplay. Starring The Tin Man, The Lost Viking, Samurai Jack, Can Say It Ain't So, Assassin's Creed, The Axeman Cometh, the knights who say, meh, Dragonborn, E Honda, Judge Dredd, Lemeth, Annoying as shit, and God of War, Rainbow Six Actual Siege. My knee! I hope I can keep adventuring! An arrow to the knee joke in the year of our Lord 2017? Seriously, Ubisoft?